Hi guys, welcome back to uh, another one of my uh, go kart build videos. Uh, I have, as you know, I haven't been doing much because of uh, it's been raining here on and off like for days and days. So one day I do one thing, and it, it's just I probably spent half hour out here every each day trying to do something. One thing that I did have to do is uh, raise the motor uh, mount brackets up about an inch and a half because I noticed when I put the chain on and the axle the chain would hit the torque converter uh, another thing that I did was I put armrests I used a uh, round tubing for the armrests I put uh, one on each side of the seat and the other only thing that I've actually done was uh, I put brackets here for a floorboard uh, I wasn't going to put a floorboard on the sides, but the reason why I want to put a floorboard on, on the sides now is I want to have a, a switch panel on the side. And the switch panel is going to be like for to turn the go-kart off and, and whatever else I can come up with for it. But yeah, so far that's all I've been doing. Oh, and I also built or made... I also made these, uh, what they are is um, two 516s nuts welded together and with a little piece of angle iron and a, a small hole drilled through it and what this is going to do is to hold the brake and gas pedals so the cable will go in like that and it will support it yeah I thought that was cool I mean actually three of them one is going to be for the gas uh, and two of them for the brake one for the front and one for the back that's about it I'm going to try now today to continue on it so uh, hopefully I can get some more done Okay, I went ahead and I welded the, um, the spoiler brackets on here, on both sides. Um, it's just welding, it's just a couple of brackets welding. I didn't think um, to show you guys how, I'm, how I did that. You guys already seen me welding the rest of the go-kart, so yeah, I just ended up putting the, the brackets on here. I made sure there was enough clearance for the motor and the, the spoiler, so... That'll work out fine. Okay, I think I got everything covered. Um, over here, what I did is I put um, a gas pedal uh, stopper, which is adjustable. Um, I actually didn't want to put it all the way up here. I wanted to put it lower so it, where it wasn't seen so much. But if I do put it lower, it'll interfere with... Um, steering linkage so i'll have to put it here then i'll grind this down nice and everything but yeah i have that covered um i have uh the brake cable um oh, sorry the gas uh cable uh, holder here i have the one for the the brake on the other side and i ended up putting one here for the back of the brake and I'm pretty sure I have everything covered. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean this all up. There's no point in me showing you because I'm going to spend hours on this. I got to clean this all up. I'm going to give it a quarter primer. I might show what, when I primer it. Just a little bit of the video as I'm primering and everything. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now is just clean this whole card up. So, to clean the go-kart off, grinding and everything, obviously I'm going to use a grinding disc. What else I got is, um, got this nice little, um, sandblasting gun from Canadian Tire. Regular price, 50 bucks. I got it on sale for $14.99, 15 bucks. And it comes with two of these bottles of sand. 
So I'm going to use this to get into all the nooks and crannies that I can't get into with the grinder and the sanding discs and everything. Another thing that I'm another thing that I'm going to use. I don't know if you guys ever heard of these. They're flap discs. And these things are awesome. What they are, they I get these at Canadian Tire when they're on special. And these are regular like $50. And I get them for fourteen ninety nine when they're on special, fifteen bucks. You guys should really look into this. These are awesome. Okay, here is how the go kart is coming so far. Uh, I painted the bottom. I cleaned it up and painted the bottom. Uh, as you can see. Yeah, and it is in two different colors. The back is black and the front is red. Um, I have a plan for that anyway, but um, so I'm gonna let this dry. I wanted to paint the bottom so I don't have to deal with the bottom anymore. So I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna see if I can get some help to turn it around once it's dry and then I'll have to only deal with the top and then I'll clean up the top. And I'll show you how I'm going to paint the top. Uh, yeah, but that's how it's going so far. So, this is going to be the end of this video. And, um, I don't want to keep my videos a long, too long anymore. Like, I, some of my first videos, they were like 30 minutes long. And I think um, people don't want to sit through that much time. So, I'm going to keep this one, finish this one here and um i'll see you on my next video which is going to be putting the floorboards in and um uh, painting the top thanks for watching